Uh, hello, guys. Uh, uh, so I'm just recapping the conversation today. We are going to talk about Microsoft 365 different product lines, uh, mostly for you to upgrade. If you are planning to switch to a higher plan, okay, what would be the best alternatives for that? And then we are going to talk about the security in Microsoft 365. So my colleague, Mr. Uh, Smitesh, is going to address this session. OK, uh, handing over to him. Go ahead, Mr. Smitesh. Uh, thank you for the introduction, uh, Mr. Kumar. So can you just allow me to share my screen? I'm not able to. Yes, uh, just a minute. Yeah, got it. Oh, I hope my screen is really good. I will wish I should see your screen. Yeah, OK. Uh, so uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining this session on Microsoft uh, 365, uh, specifically focused on security and uh, business premium. Uh, my name is Mitesh. I belong to Savex Technologies. We are the official distributor of Microsoft, and we work clo very closely with Microsoft. So I will just be taking you through a gist of what the Microsoft products are available in the market and what are your possible upgradations uh, for the same. It wouldn't be a very technical uh, kind of a session so that uh, any technical expertise or anything would be required. It would be an overview of everything just to help every one of us to understand what is there and what more we can do uh, into this. Also, there would be a series of uh, videos uh, which uh, I would play in between in order to understand uh, everything or each aspect in a better way. All right, uh, just setting the context. So before we move to Microsoft uh, 365, uh, let's uh, take a quick glance on Microsoft uh, Cloud. So Microsoft Cloud is a one of the most trusted and comprehensive cloud, you can say, in the, in the digital environment. The reason I'm saying is that is in Microsoft Cloud, there are six critical areas uh, which are covered. As you can see on the screen, it is infrastructure, digital and app innovation, data and AI modern work, business application, and security. So these are the four verticals which any every organization re, uh, needs, and there are specific products for each of the organizations uh, which would help them to uh, cater to it. So and to support that also Microsoft Cloud has solution to each of the uh, verticals present. For example, it has a separate solution for financial services, for healthcare different, for manufacturing different, for non-profit different, for retail different, and for sustainability different. So if you need to want to focus on any particular uh, vertical, Microsoft will also allow that as well. So a review of uh, Microsoft uh, Cloud. So for business and data processes, it has dynamic uh, as a SKU. For low code innovation, it has power apps. For productivity and collaboration, whatever the tools we are very well aware are present, the Teams, Excel, Word, PPT, Outlook. For ISV solutions, there are pre-built apps, vertical solutions, and for insights, there is Power BI. And lastly, for data, there is Azure. So this is, is just a 
overview of our Microsoft Cloud. And today we are going to be uh, focusing more on the productivity and collaboration apps which are present into M365 uh, Business Premium Suite. So uh, just before I start the session, if anyone has any doubt, they can uh, put it on the chat or even if we can have a Q&A session at the end uh, uh, of the session uh, uh, to just uh, clarify uh, certain doubts. OK, so what is uh, M365? Uh, any uh, uh, any any answers to that? So the chat is open. So anyone who can, who can say what is uh, M365? What this word, uh, what is the first thing which comes to your mind uh, by hearing M365? A any answers? It is like a business premium license. A business premium license. Okay, so not just the word, just a basic understanding. If you are M365, so what is, uh, yeah. so, in Microsoft Central Service, uh, we can use uh, mail, mail services, Teams, SharePoints. Yeah, exactly. Office application. Thank you, thank you for the. Easy. Yeah, thank you. Correct, correct, absolutely correct. So normally, uh, normally, what we uh, get to hear uh, from our uh, people or our customer is that Microsoft 365 is a bundle of Word, Excel. Uh, sorry, uh, anyone want to say anything? Yes, it is. We are in you both are safe. Actually, I have Can you please go on mute? So we can continue. Yeah, so uh, all that is correct, but normally what we get to here is uh, M65 is just a bundle of Teams, PowerPoint, Outlook, Excel, Word. That is a general conception of what is uh, Microsoft Survive. Let you that is something more other than. So I would pressing on some of the words which are important to do business in today's uh, world. So is a secure, cost effective and a reliable cloud solution for real collaboration. So these words are important. Secure, cost effective, reliable cloud solution and collaboration in real time, which will help you to do secure work anywhere. And I guess this is something, a solution which we need in this life. It is more than just an app. Like our Excel PowerPoint, as I already said, and with chat, with team, you can use it with chat call, client meetings, and collaborate in real time as well. Uh, we agree that Microsoft is a, a complete suite, but why do, we, why do we need such a need of Microsoft? The main reason is that after the pandemic, the business has changed. Smitesh, sorry to interrupt you, Smitesh. Yeah. Your voice is breaking. We can't hear you properly. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Okay, I'm going to check it out. Everyone is facing issues. Yes, Smitesh. Now it is clear, Smitesh. Hello? Oh, yeah, I guess there is some work in the between. That's why. So I will continue. So uh, I was saying ki, why there is a need of such an application which uh, will help to get productive and cooperate in time. Business has been transformed after the pandemic. They have shifted to a hybrid culture, an in office going culture to working online, sharing data online, collaborating online, working on online meetings rather than meeting in person. And with this you need certain applications which will help you to function in such an environment. Hence, Microsoft is one of the solutions in which it takes care of all the applications of all the needs which is required to work 
or to collaborate in this new hybrid culture plus with the security features it would require to run a business smoothly without any attacks or any viruses or any malicious which will harm the businesses when collaborating uh, online so what are the needs or the challenges faced by many of us you who are attending the sessions today one is real time collaboration need to get work done virtually from anywhere and anywhere there are often changes in team culture because there is no physical presence everyone anyone can work with anyone uh, as per the need of the business in size mitesh uh, sorry to interrupt you uh, actually yeah. your voice is still breaking and we can't follow you breaking Uh, now is okay now it is okay uh seems like could maybe you can go for a sentence and maybe we can you, confirm that okay sure sure thanks thanks so uh as i was saying that first is real time collaboration so changes in team culture maintaining efficiency and staying connected are some of the things that which are we are currently looking forward into this new hybrid culture second if the real time collaboration is achieved what about the security what about the risk which are associated with all of this also there are employees or we we are tending to use free softwares or software which don't have any security or any minimal security what would be the effects of such softwares when they are used or uh, during me using uh, any corporate data or working on a critical plan what would be the effects on that and secondly employees are using or we are using uh, personal devices for that also so how secure is our personal device is there any antivirus or any security measures uh, been there into a personal device maybe your corporate device your office device may secure what about your personal device that is one thing and lastly the cost involved into it what are the solutions or what are the technology you need to adapt to set your solution and what if they will merge together or they will play well together what are the cost involved in all of this these are some of the challenges which are faced by the customers in today's time and uh, microsoft is trying to come up with or has come up with a solution which we would uh, uh, see in the later slides so some of the trends which are currently going that 84% of the global business development managers are accelerating digital transformation on that 88% feel that their business is vulnerable to attack and thirdly what are the cash reserves which are available to sustain an operations if there is any change or they have to adapt to something new so all these things are constantly in the mind of our ski how do we adapt to a certain change or how do we get into a new solution or adapt a new solution which will help to sustain this or develop something new so a famous quote by mr satya nadella everyone must be aware of him that no company is better position than microsoft to help or mission deliver uh, their digital imperative to do with less from infrastructure to data business applications and hybrid work microsoft provides a differentiated value to the customers so in short he means is that he, with the features provided under microsoft suite we can do or we can achieve much more which is required to grow our business into this new hybrid culture and sustain our operations in the same so as i already all in one place benefits enables people led transformation safeguards your business and also it, everything is provided under a very reduced cost so it also helps to deliver uh, microsoft also is you know uh, helps to deliver on cloud so 50% of the cost is being saved in microsoft 365 right? 
because everything is given in a bundle up state and there is no need of getting various applications. Also, security is being taken care of and productivity is also taken care into the Microsoft 365 suite. Various features are available into the Teams Outlook, which will help you to collaborate and improve your productivity in a better way. So that was just um, uh, based on what we would be having or what Microsoft is built. But now let's go through the various plans which are available in Microsoft uh, 365. Most of us may be using Business Basic. So just me, let me quickly get through what is Business Basic. In Business Basic, you will get everything which is highlighted in the red, but you will get only the mobile and the web versions. What it means is that every time you need to access this application, you need to either use a mobile or you need to go on a web browser and access those with your credentials. You won't be able to uh, download any desktop version apps if you're purchasing a business basic plan. With that, you will get Teams with 300 attendees, 1 dB of cloud storage, business class emails, and you will have some standard security. This is for the business basic. So I guess you have what, what is what business basic is web and mobile versions only and 1 dB of cloud storage. We move forward to the second plan, which is Microsoft Business Standard. So the shortcomings of the business basic, which was the downloadable desktop version app. This is available into Microsoft 365 Business Standard. So here you can get a downloadable desktop version applications of 365. Uh, in which Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook is there, plus web and mobile versions as well. Also, a point to mention here, you can, da you can download this desktop version apps into five devices at a single point of time. Please note five devices at a single point of time, and, and it is not uh, operating system oriented. You can download in Mac OS, uh, or any device specific in uh, your laptop, PC, every, everything is uh, suitable. In that, with that, you will get all the features which are available into Business Basic. And lastly, we will move to our main product or the security product, which is Microsoft 365 Business Premium. So here, everything was covered into Microsoft 365 business standard, but one major thing which was a need of the art or which was the thing which is missing in both of this is security. And security is being taken care into this Microsoft business premium plan where there are a couple of more applications added, which we will see in details in the upcoming slides, which will help us to uh, secure, secure our work and get along with the business. So our main focus is Microsoft Business Premium for today. Just a highlight of what Microsoft Business Premium suit has. It has all the apps which are present into standard and basic Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, SharePoint, Teams, plus additional security apps which are Intune, Defender, Azure Information Protection, Azure AD, and you also get access to Azure Virtual Desktop. So now I am explaining everything about security, security, security. Then why we need security? Just let's see through one of the videos. Uh, when viewing this film, please keep your anything? company name and your product in mind. The sound is, uh, can I get the sound is audible of the video? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Right now, 43% of cyber attacks are targeting businesses with less than 300 people. Now, I'm not very good at math. I'm great at math. 
So I know two things. Small and medium-sized businesses like yours not only account for 95% of the companies on Earth, they're also under constant attack. To combat these attacks, you need the best tools available. And that's where I come in. I'm your new chief security officer. I'm here because there are over a million new cyber threats every day. And you've already got a full-time job keeping all the tech in your office running. But you say to yourself, at least the criminals are focusing their attention on the big corporations. I know I'm new here, but I'll be frank. You are so incredibly wrong. Every year, 55% of organizations your size are attacked. So if you weren't attacked last year, then statistically, I have some bad news about what's going to happen this year. Hey, what a mess. As your new chief security officer, <laughs> I want to tell you about a few things you can do to improve your security strategy right now. Your company needs to be secure. You need to collaborate. And you need to be mobile. And it's all because of Microsoft 365 Business Premium. So I guess everyone has a gosh a gist of why security is important and how business premium would be potential to helping that. So some of the some of some of the doubts we have in mind of our customers is that since the working has been shifted to hybrid, 43% of them feel that they are not included in the meetings. Because if there's a large meeting and only some people are speaking, others feel they are left out of the meeting. In that, the issue is in collaboration issue, which is normally achieved in, if it is a physical meetup or an in-person meetup. Second is that he, there's a 54% leaders feel that productivity has negatively impacted since there is a hybrid shift to work, rightly because there is no tracking, right? You don't you don't have tracking who is working, who is not working, who is working, how much, and all those sorts of things. Hence, and lastly, how you keep your data secure. Because every because each employees or SMB businesses allow their employees to even access the data, the company data from their personal devices and as well, like phones and computer. So how how this data, how these devices are secure, how the networks they are accessing to, it's secure, and other things. So all these things comes into picture if you are thinking in terms of security and doing the business online. So maybe you would think, you would say like Smithage, like security is okay, but it's not something that you are showing or it's not a concern. But let me show you some stats which are given by Microsoft, which would help or we will tend you to think even more. So there has been 300% ransomware attacks in the past year with more than 50% targeted to small and medium sized businesses. One in four security breach was into the small and medium business state. 70% of things that cyber threats are more of a business risk because if a cyber threat is targeted to a business, the loss of money or the loss of data is much more compared to if it is targeted to a person or a personal identity. And just a average cost, which a data breach could cost in an SMB would be somewhere around $108,000. So you can just imagine that what uh, SMB business would suffer if they would have they would bear such a loss, right? So how to secure productivity and how Microsoft would help? So Microsoft does that with three main things. One is it set up a strong zero trust foundation. It set up a simplified endpoint management and also unleashes intelligent productivity with use of AI. So how Microsoft achieved this is so there are four new features which are included in Microsoft Business Premium. We will go through them one by one with a short video for each of them, which will help us to understand them even better, starting with Microsoft Intune. 
Microsoft Intune is used for unified endpoint management. Endpoint devices can include your laptop, smartphone, desktops and more. Intune is the secure linking of employees' devices to company data. Imagine as an employee, you have multiple devices such as a laptop, desktop, tablet and phone. Now imagine being the IT department and trying to manage everything on these devices through cumbersome traditional methods requiring a lot of on-premises infrastructure. Intune with its cloud management allows IT teams to seamlessly deploy applications, apply security policies and more with no traditional on-premises infrastructure. Even if the user's device are on the road, at home, in the office or another office location, the IT team can track the use of both hardware and software, create and manage security policies. It is especially convenient when onboarding a new employee, since deploying a new device is quick and easy, and it can install apps remotely too. Microsoft Intune integrates with Azure Active Directory conditional access and enables IT to block access from certain devices unless specific security policies are met. Additionally, some companies allow bring your own device by enabling Intune application protection, formerly Intune Mobile Application Management. So just keep in mind that if you are getting into for your organization, how much trouble it will, how much it will reduce the trouble your IT team or yourself have when you're managing your devices, your users, your data, everything. So what does Intune do? It manages users and devices. It simplifies the app management. It automates policy deployment. It also integrates with mobile self defense as well. And Intune not only integrates or support Microsoft application, but also it can be integrated with third party apps as well. So there is no limit that you need to have only Microsoft app in order to get an Intune, right? Second, let's go to Microsoft Defender. Uh, there's no denying it. Securing your personal data across different devices has become more challenging than ever. However, for Microsoft 365 subscribers, this problem is being addressed in a really big way, and it's called Microsoft Defender. Now, let me just say, Microsoft Defender for individuals is what it's called, and individuals, meaning like me and you, is brand new. This isn't the same thing as Windows Defender because this is about more than just Windows devices. Microsoft Defender has just launched and I want you to get familiar with it now, early, so you can keep your loved ones safe long into the future. What is Microsoft Defender? Okay, simply put, it's a security app to keep individuals and families safe online. This is a premium service that you are eligible for if you're a Microsoft 365 subscriber. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you know, if you get those apps through Microsoft 365, you have access to Microsoft Defender. What makes it so important is how simple, accessible, and usable it is. You do not need a PhD in cybersecurity to use Microsoft Defender. I bet your household is a lot like mine in that it's a mixture of Windows, iOS, Android, Mac OS devices, all under one roof. So let's be sure our data and devices are kept secure without having to turn to multiple different security products and apps. Use Microsoft Defender to manage security protections for everyone in your family from a single, easy to use, centralized dashboard. Here you can view existing antivirus protection from within the dashboard. You can extend device protection to iOS, Android, and Mac OS devices for cross-platform malware protection. And my personal favorite, receive instant security alerts and resolution strategies, even expert tips to keep your data and devices safe in our ever-changing digital world. And again, here's the real reason I wanted to make this video for you ASAP. We're just getting started with Microsoft Defender. As we look forward, you're gonna see a lot more protections available under this single security dashboard, including features like identity theft protection and secure online connections. That's my whole message. Go try it out today. I want you to get familiar with Microsoft Defender today so you're able to take advantage of what it will be able to do for you tomorrow. So I guess everyone has got a gist of what Defender is.
so we will just uh, go through it is an enterprise grade security app protection for design specifically for businesses up to 300 employees it is available with microsoft 360 business premium and some of the uh, features of the defender are mentioned some of the features i would just explain that attack surface reduction attack surface reduction is something that in a in a in an overall you can say a scope so there are different surfaces or different points where an attacker could attack your device your network your business data and others so we have to reduce the point or we have to reduce the weak points which are there in our system maybe it could be a firewall your device your networks your endpoints everything defender would help you to uh, help you to reduce those surfaces also it has endpoint detections and responses which will give you alerts which will give you intimations what things you need to do in order to secure yourself it also has a feature of automated investigation and remediation if there are any flaws within your security breach or within your system and lastly microsoft threat experts are there to help you if you are facing any issues into security into any threats into any malware they will help you to guide what needs to be implemented how needs to be implemented and what are the measures according to the businesses we need to take in order to have a secure business third is azure information protection azure information protection also known as aip is a component of microsoft enterprise mobility and security it is essentially document level security. It enables an organization to protect and classify documents based on labels. These labels can be added either automatically through a set of rules, manually, or a combination of both. For example, administrators may want to automatically classify documents that contain credit card numbers. Every single time this protected data is viewed, a check is done to see if the person viewing the file is permitted to do so and the IT administrator or document creator can be alerted. This document level security is so strong that it even works outside of the organization and always remains with the document. If someone without permission tries to view the file, they can be blocked based on company, employment status or date. Because the permissions remain with the file, it does not matter if the document is stored on Office 365, a desktop or even portable USB storage. Most companies are now taking data security seriously and, as such, AIP is a key part of achieving compliance. So, what do we understand with Azure Information Protection? The first statement in the video was, it is a document level security. So, Microsoft doesn't only secures your device, your identity and your network. It goes one step forward and it secures your document as well. So why document is security is required? Consider if you have a very sensitive information with any chance it gets leaked or it gets transferred to any other device or your competitor, your whole data is lost. That, that data could be your password, your bank details, your business details, anything, anything. Just keep in mind you have the most precious information into that document. And if it gets stolen, what will happen? But what Microsoft Azure Protection does is that it provides permissions restrictions into that document. And the best part is that restrictions stays with the document wherever it travels. For example, if you have put your multi-factor authentication or your password or your uh, single sign or anything, any measures you have put for that specific document. There is no other way that anyone can open that document apart from you. How did that sound, right? So this level security Microsoft is investing into and this is one of the feature Azure Information Protection which helps to achieve this. Lastly, we will go to one more feature which is there in Business Premium, which is Azure Active Directory. 
which focusing more on single identity creation. Let's uh, see the video. Azure Active Directory, also known as AAD, is a component of Microsoft Enterprise Mobility and Security. It provides identity and access of management to Microsoft 365 and other cloud-based and on-premises services. By creating a single identity that can be used for all devices, your security is increased as is your control. This single identity is used as your single sign-on for multiple devices and applications. For example, you could log on to your company's CRM, your emails and intranet, all with one set of credentials. Employees can sign into almost any service regardless of device model, location or user identity, including both cloud software and on-premises software. With one password, users can access pretty much everything. So how does this improve your security? When each user has a single unique identity, it allows for conditional access. So you can block or allow users to log on to certain devices, services or apps based on various factors. A key feature in Azure Active Directory is conditional access, which includes multi-factor authentication to verify the user's identity, ensuring the actual logon is secured. And finally, having secure identities allows for reporting on logins and visibility of the data associated with the access requests. As we move into a digital world, it is essential for employees to be able to work with the ease and security of single sign-on that Azure Active Directory provides. So I guess everyone must have understood what is a single sign on or single identity. So I will just give a quick uh, brief about that. So in Azure Active Directory, a single identity is created of every user of the organization. With that single identity, he has given permissions, rights or conditional access to certain documents or data which he or she can access. OK, there are some policy engines where you can set those conditional access and also you can continuous evaluate on those access. So how does this make your life easy? For example, even consider for your personal use, you have maybe 10 to 20 accounts in different different applications or different softwares. Each time you have a different username and a different password and it is not like for me it is not possible key to remember 20 passwords of 20 different application and we tend to lose it so what is the best thing to avoid this provide create a single sign on or a single identity which is connected through our to our application or our otp or our mail with that you can every time get alerts on your mobile your email and thus you don't have the headache or remembering the passwords every time. Secondly, if even if some of us have a habit of storing each of the password in an Excel sheet, but what if that Excel sheet gets stolen or get corrupted? You don't have any other thing as a backup, right? In this case, single sign on is something which is which provides a solution for everything which we face during such challenges. So Azure Active Directory is a cloud based identity and access management. It would help you to access your extra external apps or ex external SaaS applications. Also, it will help you to uh, access your internal corporate intra intranet or cloud applications which your company has developed. It can also be used by your IT admins if they want to set some specific permissions or restrictions on certain data or certain uh, documents or database. Also, if any software engineer is creating a uh, software, he could put a single sign on uh, restriction to it so that only specific members have uh, the access right to it. So, these are the features of what are the provided into Microsoft uh, security in terms of business premium plan. But next question would be why Microsoft? Why don't are there any other applications we should trust for security? So some of the statistics which uh, Microsoft has been doing over the years is that 
Microsoft currently is protecting more than 860,000 organizations in 120 countries. So you can just think of how many organizations are using Microsoft security and they have been benefited. Microsoft is analyzing more than six, six, 65 trillion threats every single day. It is tracking more than 250 unique nation states, criminals or other threat actors which are currently present. And also it has blocked 70 billion attacks last year. So just by seeing the stats, you can imagine how much Microsoft is successfully able to track and reduce the threats uh, for the business. So how, so I will just quickly run through it, how Microsoft helps to build a Zero Trust Foundation. It provides a multi-factor authentication through which we can safeguard our data and also help us to get your password if it is lost or stolen. So with multi-factor authentication, only you would have the right to reset your password. None other, anyone else would have this because Microsoft Authenticator access it will install into your mobile and then only it will give an OTP to you or else if more standards are being at place, it will also ask OTP into your email or your mobile. So there are two, three layers through which a password verification or a password reset will happen and those all only you would have access. So if any, if anything is stolen or uh, like corrupted, only you would be the right person to uh, like reset it. Also, it will help to defend against cyber threats and and uh, or, or or any business threats with enterprise grade protection, uh, like phishing, ransomware, data loss. So yeah. So first, it protects against phishing. So phishing, if I would just say phishing attacks are the emails or texts or messages or phone calls or even website uh, which are tricks of attackers to download the malware. So I guess in our point of time, at least once we have gone through such a thing where we receive an email or a link and we tend to click on that and what happens and a virus get uploaded in our device or we lost we lost our data or our identity has been shared. So this is a kind of a phishing attack which normally attackers do. So Microsoft will help you to secure on these terms. Like it, it will safeguard you. It won't allow such links or such mails or such phone call to reach to you. It will block you there and there. Also, if uh, there is a malicious website, it would help you to protect against malicious website as well. So if a website is not secure, it will show uh, error like this as shown in the screen that this website is not safe. It is recommended not to open this website as it would damage your computer. Also, as I said, it provides uh, document level protection so you can control who can view it, who can even forward it, who can even print it. Also, you can set uh, permission that certain document can be edited or printed by certain people only. Also, this is done on multi-platform uh, as helps to reduce risks, access, security posture. Also, it helps to keep the software updated and device-based condition access as well. So how you keep your data more secure across devices? Enforce strong authentication. Make sure that your employees use multi-factor authentication other than a normal password, which is easily be uh, trackable. Reduce your attack surface. Attack surface, as I mentioned, are the weak points or the attack points which usually attackers uh, would tend to attack into a database or get into your network. And thirdly, use sorry, use an AI tool which would be helpful into preventing all of this, which would have the advanced security, advanced features to protect all of this. 
So to protect sensitive information, encrypt your data, discover and classify sensitive content, preserve the content by you can send a hold, no, hold or uh, notification to any data you want. Also address the theft of data if it is lost, stolen. So this is something on Zero Trust Foundation. Second comes is simplify endpoint management. Endpoint simplify endpoint management is you need to do a end to end protection. End to end protection means not only one thing you need to secure. You need to secure everything. Your endpoints, your email, your identity, your data, your cloud and your apps. Even if one of these things is not secure, there would be a security breach and a more and a full security won't be guaranteed. Hence, if you have all of this secure, we call it as you have a 365 security at your business place. It helps to provide security to your endpoints, to your mobile devices as well, and also a virtual desktop if you are using. So there are four principles protect everything. Protect everything means, as I said in the in the previous slide, you need to protect each and everything, your apps, your identity, your devices, your virtual devices, everything. Simplify the complex. It means is that the implementation or the usage of the security feature should be simple and what and that is what Microsoft focuses on. It gives a simplified version of security with Microsoft History of Business Premium, which will help to simplify your security process. Third is catch what other miss. It means is that Microsoft is able to catch much more than what other other apps are catching or other apps are detecting in terms of security and malware. And fourth grow. Grow is means if you're protected 365, the security features are not complex, you are easy to use. And thirdly, if your software is catching everything, you are intimated for everything, you will have a peace of mind and you will be able to grow your business in the future. You will have the trust from your partners, from your clients, from your customers, because they would if they are doing business with you, if they are sharing the data with you, it is secure. It won't get affected or it won't get attacked by any attackers. So this is just an overview of where the Microsoft uh, security and intelligence team focuses on. And also it recommended that the security team of a particular organization should focus on in terms of security. So some of the list are that it should check for, it should focus on cloud security, it should focus on malware, it should focus on sec pinware security, phishing, breach recovery, hardware security, global intelligence, and much more. In order, if you want to track the security and threats in all the ways. So just a slide like continuous innovation is required. So just you can see the amount which Microsoft has invested. In the past five years, Microsoft has invested more than $5 billion in terms of R&D for security. And in the upcoming five years, it is investing more than four times of it, which is $20 billion into R&D just to give customers like me and you a proper secure working environment for the businesses to function without any threat, security threat. So just a timeline of what came when and how, how Microsoft is dealing with them. So in 2004, endpoint malware came, in 2005, email protection came, in 2015, cloud security came, in 2021, decentralized identity and much more. So now let's uh, see some of the customer stories which uh, Microsoft 
is being uh, successfully catering to. <laughs> so sorry. So first is from Shah Zakai. He is the director of corporate IT from eToro. He says that Microsoft doesn't only analyze the information from Microsoft compliance tool, plus also it classifies the analysts from Google Workspace and third party applications as well. So it is not restricted to only Microsoft tools. Second is Mr. James says that the entire suit is so connected that it is a boom to them and it boosts their security in a very effective way. Third is from Martin Solon. He says that if they are using multiple solutions to increase for security, it in increases their complexity yeah. by anywhere between 400 to 500 percent and also triples that cost. From Mr. from Mr. Ben Watt, he says that there are various vulnerabilities in the market, but because of the Microsoft, they are aware of each and every vulnerability which can come in their way and they could be prepared at their end to manage those. And lastly, from Miss Miko, uh, he, she says that before years when Microsoft was not able, they are not using Microsoft. It could have taken days <coughs> for an alert to come to them, but due to Microsoft, it happens at a very much faster rate. So Microsoft is recognized as a leader uh, in security in Gartner, in Forrester, and a leader in seven IDC Marketscape as well. So these are some of the big names in which Microsoft has already been named for its security. So now let's get a quick overview of what Microsoft um, Business Premium uh, we have just uh, gone through the slide in a short video, which will help us to recap everything. When it comes to security, 60% of small businesses don't feel prepared for cyber attacks. But protecting your company is easier than you think. Microsoft 365 Business Premium brings together comprehensive security capabilities with collaboration tools in one solution to help you run your business securely from anywhere. Here are the top five ways in which Microsoft 365 Business Premium can benefit your business. Communicate and collaborate effortlessly. You want to spend less time switching between apps or searching for files and more time being productive. With Microsoft Teams, your employees can collaborate in real time through chat and online meetings, share files, and co-author documents all in one convenient place. Protect from unauthorized access. Your remote employees need access to data and files, but their email and password could get hacked. Advanced multi-factor authentication uses a second form of authentication and has been shown to thwart 99% of identity attacks, protecting you against lost or stolen passwords. And conditional access policies help ensure only authorized people have access to company data. Microsoft 365 Business Premium helps protect you against phishing attacks and ransomware. The last year has seen a 300% increase in ransomware attacks, with more than half directed at small businesses. This can cost you time, money, and pull you away from what matters most, running your business. The new Microsoft Defender for Business capabilities included in Microsoft 365 Business Premium bring multi-layered protection against sophisticated ransomware attacks, powered by enterprise-grade technology like endpoint detection and response and it helps you protect not just PCs, but also phones and tablets across a range of devices, from Windows to iOS, Android, and Mac. Microsoft 365 Business Premium also protects you against phishing attacks. Real-time AI-powered malware scanning helps protect attachments and links in shared docs across email, Teams, and OneDrive, while anti-spoofing technologies help defend against impersonation. Safeguard your sensitive data you probably deal with sensitive information like customer data or credit card numbers. 
The information protection capabilities of Microsoft 365 Business Premium help safeguard confidential data against breaches or accidental loss by encrypting email and protecting against unauthorized access. Secure your work data on personal devices. As employees use personal phones or tablets to access work data, Microsoft 365 Business Premium can prevent confidential work files from being saved into unsecure personal locations. Mobile app protection policies help keep work and personal apps separate and also allow work data to be wiped remotely if an employee moves on. Those are just five of the ways Microsoft 365 Business Premium can help enable secure work from anywhere while being cost-effective and easy to use. When it comes to so I guess this video like summarizes what uh, I have just uh, uh, explained over the last uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, so quickly, just let's see the benefits of uh, 65 Business Premium, comprehensive easy to use, uh, one solution for productivity and security, cloud platform simplified deployment, and gets up you running quickly, reduce cost, eliminates cost of multiple solutions helps helps to reduce help desk cost ease of licensing and enterprise get technology with ai powered uh, threat intelligence so as i said it would help you to protect your identity your device identity through azure ad features like multi-factor authentication self-service password device security through Defender, application security by restricting copy paste, advanced threat protection, data log prevention, and finally document through Azure Information Protection Show. Your identity is secure, your device is secure, your application is secure, and your document is secure. Everything is secure. So just uh, online, uh, rate comparison of what Microsoft has posted. So business basic comes for six dollars a user per user per month. Standard comes for twelve point five per user per month, and business premium comes for twenty two dollars per user per month. But I guess there is a question like why there is so much a jump in the business premium plan. Let me take you through one slide. So this is so if if you feel that security is important, and I guess we have now all agreed that security is important, and you look out to various applications to complete or to provide to solution of each of your security need. For example, for remote access solution, you are going for one party for advanced email you're going to another for single sign on another and so on and so forth. So a monthly cost which will which you will uh, which will occur by using third party solution would be somewhere around more than $45 per month. OK, and this is the costing just for the security features. And also Secondly, you will have the hassle to manage all of these vendors or to integrate them with each other. Imagine if one of those fails, then you have to run behind those vendor. And at this time, what the reason they will give you that it is not working because of the another third party app. So there would be only pinpointing of one another to all each other because this my app is not working because of so and so, so and so. so. Hence, to reduce your headache, Microsoft has one single solution, which is Microsoft 365 Business Premium, in which all these features are already available. Plus, you don't need to run behind every vendor. Only one vendor, Microsoft, is responsible. Plus, you will get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, everything. So not just security you are getting plus the collaborative app as well. So just a recap what you will get into $22 per month. 
web and mobile versions of Word and Excel PowerPoint, desktop versions of the same, which you can install in up to five devices, Teams with 300 attendees, one TV cloud storage, access and data control, advanced security, cyber threat protection, and Microsoft Copilot. If you wish to purchase, it is compatible with Microsoft uh, Business Premium uh, suit as well. So what is Microsoft Copilot? Just a couple of minutes more, I will just quickly uh, take you through what is Copilot. And there's something new which Microsoft has uh, released and how it would help you to solve or make your work or life very easy. So some of the stats that 64% like me and you have struggled finding time and energy to get their work done. Three into three X, the amount of time spent on teams has increased after the pandemic. 70% of the people would delegate as much as work possible to AI to lessen their workloads. And there is a likelihood that many leaders will say AI will boost its productivity. Why this is so? Because Microsoft Copilot embeds itself within Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams with its comprehensive approach, which includes security, compliance, privacy, and responsible AI. As you can see on the screen, it is a short demo of Word where just by clicking or selecting some of the things, a proper document, Word document is created and you don't need to type in this all by you. Everything is properly typed and generated by AI. Second example is of Teams. So if you're collaborating on Teams, you have a meeting, you don't need to write down every discussion or every points or at the end also, you don't need to create any uh, minutes of meetings or any draft. Everything is automatically popped up with the help of Microsoft Copilot as and when the discussion is happening. Just another example of a team chat where everything is readily available. You don't need to focus much on this and you can spend more time into your collaborative work. So 88% you can be more productive with Copilot. 74% you can focus more on satisfying work. And 77% you can spend less time searching for information and examples because everything is AI ready. So just a last video of our session on Microsoft Copilot. It shows how Microsoft 365 Copilot will help you to get your work done with ease.
So you must have like this video, like how Copilot will ease your work, why everything is automated. So let me ask you a question. Are you Copilot ready? So if you have the requirement Copilot, you can you get back to us with the technical uh, requirements. Uh, uh, we can specify to whatever technical requirements you need to have. And lastly, this uh, sums up our uh, webinar on uh, security and Microsoft 365 Business Premium for today. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to me on the number specified. Uh, thank you for attending this session. And if you, you have any questions, uh, we can take it now. Uh, team, uh, uh, thanks for uh, Smitesh. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for the great. Uh, we really enjoyed watching the total presentation, and uh, the co-pilot is actually amazing. So I believe, like uh, most of the attendees are uh, experiencing uh, experiencing the same. Uh, so uh, uh, Smitesh, we got a couple of questions. Can we uh, quickly address them in the chat? Yeah, once again, I will just see it with. So uh, just as I said, the, the technical questions or the technical queries is how to set up and everything that uh, we can get in connect with the technical person. So this was just an overview. If you want any specific uh, technical uh, queries, then how to, do we set up after uh, purchasing it or during the installation that uh, Microsoft uh, technical person will help you with this. Uh, the sharing cost you can get in touch with the partner they would be the best people to help you uh, with this uh, so uh, so sorry mr sinasi the 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 how to create the reminders and everything i guess that a different session uh, or different demo or a training would be required for your technical team or the IT team to set up those uh, uh, things for you. So that can be uh, done if after uh, you must have uh, uh, what you say, uh, purchase the licenses. So we will help you with this. Uh, there are a couple of questions. Let me address them. Uh, one is that uh, Sampath is asking about device level restrictions. Sampath, uh, uh, this can be done only through Intune and uh, uh, for giving a demonstration specific to that particular feature, I mean, we would be able to do that. But uh, one to one sessions, we, we are uh, ready to do that. Even uh, as your questions also, we have seen that. Uh, so any specific questions related to any particular module, uh, we would be able to give you on one to one session. At this moment, you can write to us uh, so that uh, we will uh, try to contact you back saying like uh, help you with this uh, information. OK, and uh, as uh, Vikram, we are going to share you the recording session after the session. Automatically, you will receive uh, an email with the recording. OK, and uh, uh, as an upgrade uh, a premium partner, what we would be able to offer you is uh, we would be able to help you with your uh, 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 Microsoft renewals, uh, any new purchases you want and product product level information you are looking for okay or any implementations like uh, uh, power bi implementation dynamic 365 migrations uh, azure uh, uh, implementations even we offer the sharepoint development also so there are uh, a couple of services we mentioned here okay and we would love to take one to one session with uh, 
for your organization, any specific requirements you have. Uh, you, you, you can ask if you have any kind of uh, specific questions. Uh, so as we shared the contact details, just write to us with your specific queries. Uh, we would be able to contact you in independently and then uh, we will try to help you with this uh, specific requirements or specific questions you have, even including Sinhasi. Uh, anyone who wants to talk anything about it, just let me know so that I can uh, we can give you the mic access. Smithish, anything from your side? Uh, hi, Kumar. This is Diljit. Yeah, hi, Diljit. Yeah, Kumar, actually, um, we are planning some um, bring your own device type of approach. So um, I might doubt like um, um, the Intune part uh, will support some certain kind of OS, right? So um, for considering like business premium, uh, I mean, uh, Windows 10 premium and enterprise type. But normally, if we consider the bring me your own device, normally it's come like uh, home or something like that. So in that case, how we can utilize this endpoint type of uh, protection approach? Uh, Smithesh, what do you can you please address this question? So I guess it is more related to the OS, uh, which is uh, they are asking, right? Yes, it looks like OS only. Windows operating yes, system. OA, so OS won't be any issue. So currently you are using which, sir? Uh, actually, this is something we are planning. Like we, we we are planning to BYOD type approach. So in that time, definitely normal users are getting um, home type of uh, uh, OSs, right? Uh, they are not go for any uh, professional mm -hmm. or enterprise level. So in that mm -hmm. case, if the Intune is not working to deploy on their devices, then again, that is a difficult part. Like um, if we add those uh, users to in our tenant, uh, then the endpoint protection and DLP. Uh, I, I heard that or I saw some videos like um, there are some compatibility or prerequisites for the Intune onboarding. For, for home, right? For home operating system, right? So as far as uh, I know, there won't be an issue, but uh, let me just uh, note down this question and I will get back to, uh, to you. Uh, to the partner for regarding if it can be compatible uh, with the home version as well. So you can go ahead with this. But as far as I know that there won't be any issue with regarding to any operating system as, as well. Uh, it, it, uh, yeah, maybe we can connect directly. Like um, this is something related to a complaints part. Like um, um, uh, understand. That, yeah. Because so we will we can, contact you after this session. We'll yeah, maybe might be works right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So any more questions? So Spitesh, anything from your side or can we close the session? No, that's all. So I guess everyone like this session and looking forward to connect with you with the you can connect with partner for more operations. Thank you everyone. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Uh, so hope everyone enjoyed the session. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.